All right, another way to throw your jab. This is if you're fighting in a shell position and you had your hand down low or you threw your jab and dropped it down low by mistake. If your hand happens to come down here, hopefully you meant it to be there. Um, but if not, even if it dropped down here, when you throw your jab, you throw it from right where it is up and then either back or you bring it back to your face. So like if you dropped your hand by mistake and you throw the jab from here, bring it back to your face, try to recover from the mistake that you made. If you're fighting in a shell position, throw it up here. You can put a little step on it too if you want, but a lot of times just a real quick shot catches them. Um, throw it from here, bring it back to your shell position, and then go back into your defense. Um, or you can follow it up. But make sure that you do it quick enough that they don't get a chance to see it coming. Because that hand is down low, what happens is, is it's just outside of the eyesight of what they're, you know, if they're normally used to watching your head and your shoulders, they don't quite see that jab coming from there. So a lot of times you can catch people with it. All right, so that's the up jab. You gotta practice it, um, especially if you're fighting in a shell position. And if you're new at boxing, I don't recommend trying to fight out of a shell position. But uh, for those of you that are a little more advanced, start working that up jab in there, and you'll see that it's a little easier to score than um, from up high sometimes, all right? But there's always, you know, good points and bad points about everything, um, you know, so uh, just know that it's not the answer to everything, but it can once in a while become a good effective tool for you.